you are successful, I think you are in love with the tires. If you have a race where um, nothing goes to plan, I think then you kind of hate them. I think it's a very crucial part of the, of the race car, if not the most important. Yeah, it's the only uh, contact patch we have between the car and the ground. You have to really learn the tires and, uh, and this is much more complex than it looks from outside. Actually, you cannot really gain a lot of performance, but you can lose it a lot. It's very, very important, you know, that the tires are in their optimum working window, that they provide the maximum grip. You can do so much uh, tire pressure-wise, uh, the tire temps, how you prepare them in quality, um, how you treat them in the race for the tire degradation. It's about the small details that can make uh, the little difference uh, for qualifying or for the race. I mean, in qualifying, you push uh, for two laps max attack, you overdrive them, you slide them, you, you just give everything you have. And then in the race, you really try to treat them uh, very soft and gentle to not overstress them too much. So no sliding, not braking too late and not locking the tires is obviously key. It's two very different tasks, you know, to squeeze out the max performance of a tire. Uh, is something completely different than trying to make it consistently performing well. When you feel that uh, the performance is dropping away from you and uh, you, you cannot really do much. Once, once you hit that cliff, there's no way back. Well, normally, you know, it's, it's never a, a switch on or off. Uh, so the tire is giving you a signals that uh, is suffering. You just have to postpone that moment uh, as long as possible in the race working with Hankook for, for quite a long time now. It's a very good cooperation, I would say. I mean, uh, we always get the information we need uh, from Hankook and they always try to, to give us uh, a lot of feedback. It's very well synchronized and working perfectly.